Okay, good morning, friends. I'm sorry that I'm late. Yeah, let's start uh, with rules. We have, uh, I think we have stopped it, you know, uh, just explaining the basic rule, right? Yeah, what we will do, we will just try to uh, write couple of rules today uh, and uh, continue again tomorrow with the same rules, okay? Let me... These are couple of, uh, you know, these are the, uh, some of the real, re real requirements that uh, uh, we have used, okay, let's see. Okay, now here under the phone information, we want to uh, ensure that, you know, now whatever you enter, it will take, okay, uh, whatever the number. But what is, generally the business requirement would be, uh, generally for any customer, by default, first thing, first, uh, phone type that has to be taken is the business phone type, that is official phone number, okay? Official phone number is the one which has to be taken, so for that we will write a rule. So whatever we enter, it should not consider any other information other than the business as primary, right? Now, if I enter uh, cell, fax, home, whatever it is taking, right? But it's one of the real-time requirement that you know phone type should by you know whatever you, first it should take the business as business type. That means business phone number as primary phone. Okay, let me let's try to write rule and uh, implement it here. configure business rules just to give the out of box solution basically create rule okay select the basic rule 
we'll say phone business phone default give any name business phone default rule id can be same ID. any you can give any date either 11 2016 or whatever or i i prefer you know 11 1990 let it be as it is okay and rule type you can select as as i said rule type uh, will not play any role it's only for the uh, recognition we have to recognize this based on the based on the rule type we can recognize what what rule it is and how it will you know just to bifurcate and uh, recognize for the user but otherwise it will not have any relevance. If you don't select also, nothing will happen. It's not mandatory. Okay. Business phone default. Okay. Where are we creating? It is under the employee information. As I said, there are various categories. So selecting base object is really crucial. You need to select, you need to think and select the correct uh, this one. Okay. We are writing the rule under the business information, sorry, employee information. Okay. Now if you see here, there are two conditions, right? If, then, add else if, add else all that okay let's see now write this simple rule um, if the company code is equals to we will write based on the company code let's see let's select it's based on the company name let's select based on the company name so if the company name is equals to any company, we can select any, let us select ABC. Okay. Then click here, edit rule, say set. Okay. Set phone information type phone, it will take you to the phone information, set the phone type to be equals to business, okay, we have various phone types, right, business, business one, sell, whatever, or let us select business one or whatever it is, right, and it should be primary, there is something called, is it, is this phone number primary or not, is this primary, uh, phone number primary or not, okay, let us add one more expression, if you click here, you can add a number of expressions, there is only one line which you have selected, say add expression above then you move this to click on that move down right 
So again set phone phone is it is primary is equals to automatically it will come to be equals to this field is yes or no field so automatically this is coming as boolean so drop down yes so if you see here our main intention is when we are hiring an employee whichever the phone type you give but it should take first phone type as business okay phone type business or business one is what we have given okay and that should be primary right so this is a simple rule that we are going to write say save so now we have created the rule so creating the rule is one part but placing where it has to be placed is very difficult Okay, that plays a crucial role. Now, so where where do we where, where is that we want to place it? It is under the employees for personal information, employee information, uh, under that phone information, right? Now, so where where, where will this? Uh, uh, portlets come like personal information, phone information, email information, all that under the succession data model. Succession data model you can do either through XML or there is a replacement for succession data model, right? Which we have initially discussed. Configure, so manage business configuration. Manage business configuration. So you will have all these portlets there. So you have to place that rule over there. Okay. Where is that phone information? Click on phone information portlet. Okay, where is that we have written the rule? You can place it either of this. So click on details. So I, I was telling you guys, if you remember, I'll tell you what is this trigger rule at the later point in time. So now we have to trigger that rule which we have just written where it comes under the employee information. Okay. Select the base object as employee information, then go to rules. Okay, business phone default. Okay. Done. Save it. Okay. Let me try hiring an employee. Let's see. How it goes. Now what we have done, we have created a rule, okay, and assigned it to phone information. Now our main intention is when we select any other phone type, it should take as business one as the phone type, okay. Sorry. Add a new employee. Okay. 
okay we have written rule for abc company right abc if you remember let me open another session let's view the rule business phone number default right what what are we saying if the company name is equals to abc company if the company name is equals to abc company then set the phone type to be equals to business one or and employee information is it primary primary or not it should be yes that is what we are trying to achieve let me see So, I am just entering the mandatory fields, okay, now phone type, let me select cell and I haven't entered the whether it is primary or not. Okay, what I have entered here, I have entered as something else, cell 1 or something else, others, home, but system is taking as business 1. Okay, whatever extension if any you can put it. So primary by default it will come. So whatever you try to enter, try to enter business, it will take business one. Right? So requirement specific to rules will not be same across all the customers. It will it will be different from each customer. So now one customer will say, I want business one phone number type uh, the phone type should be defaulted and primary should be yes some other customers say i want cell cell number to cell uh, business you know, phone type cell to be defaulted someone will say i don't want that at all or someone may say, may say email id default or some address default like that so we have to keep writing the rules like that understood if you have any doubts, just ask me now. I will repeat it. If, if you are not getting it, I will repeat it again. Radhika, any doubt in this? Is this clear? No, because these are, in the real-time implementation, these are uh, uh, crucial thing. Even in the interviews, they will more stress on the rules. Okay? You guys have to practice it. I will. We are going to teach. We are going to discuss rules even tomorrow. Today we will again create two more rules. One under the job information. One under the compensation information. If you have any doubts, I'll again repeat it. Please ask me. Why I'm telling is please understand that this will be crucial for any interview owner. Okay, you guys can practice. And again, ask me tomorrow also, I have no issues. Again, we are going to teach rules only tomorrow. Okay, Ravi. Ravi, any doubt? Well, as of no, no as doubt. Uh, maybe I will practice. It, uh, ah, fine. Is this clear to you? Yeah, it's clear. So, how, clear. how to create rule, where to assign the rule, and how it is reflecting in the, when yeah. hiring the employee. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, no problem. Vinay? No, sir. Clear. 
Now, is this clear to you? Uh, the uh, the rule that we have written just now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. No. Let's try write one more rule uh, on employment details. See, there was one of the. It is one of the uh, real. Uh, real time uh, scenario that I have got it okay if the company whatever the company name it's again based on the company but you have various parameters it is not necessary that you have to write rule only based on the company you can write based on anything I'm just writing it I'm just showing you the path you guys have to explore it with respect to rules okay if the company is something else, ABC, if not ABC, IND, whatever, we'll select, okay? And eligible for, if the employee is eligible for stock. If those two rules, if those two conditions are met, initial stock grants should be some 300, 200, whatever, right? Stock grant means there are companies what, you know, when, when employee joins initially, they'll assign some stocks, that is, shares they'll give some shares so initial initial stock grant that means when an employee join the company they'll issue a minimum number of shares as a grant okay we will write the rules so that will be fixed for all the employees so we will write we will let me let us write the rule based on this let's go and create new initial stock so why I am giving is there should be some meaningful name tomorrow if we have to search there should be this name should be should have some meaning right and start date whatever you can select I'll say field defaults initial grant to be equal to thousand description it's for all it is of for our reference now I am writing rule on the employment information employment details
system has become slow. Two more next sessions. Let me open this here. the base whatever initial stock grant is equals to thousand Okay, that's it. Let me write on the okay. So we can write based on any company. the job information company name you have various other parameters also right which are visible division department you have various things you can write a rule based on that so to be equals to we will say we will write for some India company okay yeah ACE in underscore India. So then set you see here employment details. No, no, no. Yeah, we have to add expression here itself to this thing. Add one more expression. Uh, 
and two conditions we have to make here and Where is this initial star grant? Yeah. No eligible for stock, right? Second, there is some reference room. Which we have written. Let's see. Let's take the same rule. This is this. I've just written when master is on the eligible for stock. eligible for stock to be equals to yes okay then set the initial stock grant initial stock grant to be equals to let us say thousand Save. Okay. What we are telling the system, we are we are adding two conditions, if conditions. If the company name is equals to AC India and if the employee is eligible for stock, then set the initial stock grant is equals to 1000. So let us add this. There is that employment info. Let's go and add the employment info. So let us add this to eligible eligible for stock option. Let us add this rule to this field. Okay, trigger rules. Go to trigger rules. Select the employee information, which is the rule which we have written just now. Initial stock. Done.
Now let me hide an employee. So we have written rule based on this company. Okay, now let's select eligible for stock. See, initial stock grant is coming as 1000 rupees. You enter 500 here, come out, to select yes it will grant thousand shares this is what is the rule which we have written is this clear so whenever you are in hiring a new employee if you are hiring under this company code company name ACE underscore India and if the employee is eligible for stock then give the initial stock grant to 1000 okay hope this is clear anyway i'll take the questions from you guys okay so it is not about the writing the rule. It is not only the writing the rule. You also need to understand where to place it. Okay. Placing is very important. Placing of the rule is really important. Okay. Let's create rule one more rule for the compensation we will again continue the rules tomorrow with a few more scenarios to be covered because they are very important a component let's say let's write anything let's say basic if the basic is equals to under the recurring payments Basic is the recurring payment, right? So if you see spot bonus, it's a one-time payment. Okay? So now if the basic is equals to, if the, if the pay component is basic, then say 20,000 as fixed amount. Fine? We'll write the simple rule like that. If the pay component is equals to basic, then amount should be fixed with 20,000. Let's write the rule. 
as of now it is not accessible. We are entering manually, right? It should automatically come. Now let's select the room. Basic way default. Okay, select the date whichever you want. Category is also not mandatory, but for our information, for our knowledge, I'll say field updates only or compensation. Compensation is something right. You can create n number of rule types. This for the reference, right? Easy reference. Say basic pay default. Now, select the compensation for Compensation. Pay component recurring. If the pay component is equals to, we will write based on yeah basic any component. You can select any component. Okay. Say this basic. Then set amount. Pay component amount. pay component amount to be equals to say 30,000. Save. Let us assign this rule under the comp information. No, no. recurring. Is it pay component recurring. Okay, you have pay component recurring portlet, right? Let's go here under the pay component. Let us assign this to. Basic pay default. This is what we have written, right? I believe that is a rule. Basic pay default. Yeah. Let's see. You can add n number of rules.
select any company any event reason Okay, now under the comp information, let me select basic. See, the value is getting defaulted 30,000. Right? Frequency, monthly, whatever, yearly, you can select it. Okay. Hope this is clear to everyone. We will again discuss tomorrow a couple of more rules uh, with, with more conditions. Okay. By adding more conditions, we will write the rule tomorrow, a couple of rules tomorrow. Let me take the questions. Radhika, um, is this clear? Yeah, this one was clear. Very good. Because these are very important. These are in interviews also. They'll uh, especially they ask all these questions. Okay, thank you. Ravi. No, no uh, questions as of now. Great. I'll practice I'll it, practice and it. tomorrow maybe we'll, we'll ask. Yeah, we will again discuss the rules tomorrow, but we will, we have just written a simple rule, but we will, uh, we will try to write a uh, little more complex rules with more conditions now. Okay? Yeah. 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 Vinay? Uh, no, sir. Okay, no, okay. Sir. No problem. Okay, thank you guys uh, for joining. Uh, see you guys tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the morning.